Hey, what's going on guys? It's Rick. Today I got a very special treat for you guys. The Railroad Police Whacker is gonna be stopping by so we can check out his Railroad Patrol vehicle. If you guys don't know who the Railroad Whacker is, well, basically he's a homeless police impersonator who hangs out and patrols the railroads. He hands out unofficial tickets and has made a few citizens arrest. And he gets away with it because he found some type of loophole in the Railroad Administration system. Well. Well, let's just let him explain it. You want to explain to me? I'm not employed by the city. I'm not officially employed by the railroad. I just kind of stick around their property because you see the way the California state laws work is that you cannot be pretending to be an officer on public property, but the railroads are within their own private property because they own their own land. Uh -huh. So as long as I post up on their property and look for people that are stupid and doing mm -hmm. things that they aren't supposed to be doing, I can yell at them. Okay. And did I mention this guy has a straight up train horn attached to his trunk? Ooh. I swear you cannot make this stuff up. <laughs> In the meantime, while we wait for the railroad cop to get here, check out this 2008 Ford Crown Vic Police Interceptor K9 unit I just picked up. She only has 69,000 miles. I can't wait to do a search video for you guys. I also picked up this 2009 Ford Crown Vic. This is the street appearance package. Only 95K miles, only 200 idle hours. I'm yet to release the undercover Impala video. Coming real soon. And check out this beautiful 2012 Chevy Tahoe. Fully loaded, only 70,000 miles. Search video coming real soon. All right, check it out. She's a 2007 Ford Crown Vic from Vacaville Police Department. He's currently in the porta potty, and you guys will see him here in just a bit. Okay, so while the railroad whacker is playing around in the porta potty, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the search. Looks like there's many different things on this car since I last seen it, and it looks like the train horn is missing. Interesting a white go rhino. And I know he had the Vacaville Police Department. Everybody who wanted to sign it, sign his thing. There's actually a segment. Check out these tires. Not bad. And he's got the older style uh, center caps. Looks like there's hideaway flasher lights on both sides. We're going to find out if they work here in just a bit. He's got spotlights. And I like this spotlight protection thing. Never seen one of those besides this car before. <laughs> and check this out. He's got this very interesting looking light bar right here. The classic Jetsonic with a built-in speaker right there. Now that is old school right here. When he gets here, I'll have him light it up for us. Look at all these bugs. And check out these pipes. Let's take a look under. Okay, so it looks like it just wraps around. This Crown has got a mankini right here. <laughs> looks like she was number 1202. From Vacville. All right, let's take a quick look inside. Looks like he's got a very interesting looking setup right here. Gonna ask him about all that here. And he's got a half, half a partitioner. So I'm assuming this is broken and that's why you have this on here. Yeah, so we get to play what's hidden behind the Mankini sunken treasure today because I broke my trunk lodge. Okay, so we're gonna find out what's in the trunk here in just a bit. And shout out to Raycon for sponsoring this video. Now there's no denying that Raycon has made a name for themselves in the premium audio scene with products such as the Raycon Everyday Earbuds, the Raycon Everyday Earphones, and the new line of Raycon Home and Raycon Tech products. And the best part is Raycon offers great prices. There's a reason why they have tens of thousands of five-star reviews. And right now, Raycon is having an early Black Friday promotion across their entire site. With 20% off everything and 50% off select products. Right now, you can get 20% off my personal favorite, the Raycon Everyday Earbuds. 
The Raycon Everyday Earbuds makes my days at the yard so much more enjoyable. The Raycons deliver high quality audio and have thoughtful features like a 32 hour battery life and are specially designed to fit perfectly in your ears, which makes the Raycon earbuds so comfortable. Get an early start on holiday sales by shopping Raycon's early Black Friday sale today. Hello? Yeah, support the channel. Head on over to buyraycon.com slash crownraycado to get 20 to 50% off site-wide. Let's go ahead and continue our search. No headliner, which is perfect for a sticker space. And check it out. A Crown Regato District 76 Police official sticker. All right, got my gloves on. We're gonna see what this guy has got in this car. This is pretty freaking cool. So apparently it's a... The spice grinder, man. You use that for your spices. You keep it in your kitchen. Here he is, man. I'm sure you guys missed him. The Railroad Police Whacker. How y'all been? Long time no see. You still like your name or should we give you a new uh, one? <laughs> Oregano. <laughs> Oregano, yeah, yeah. He uh, he only does the all natural spices. <laughs> old timer, Some old timer knife. Oh, nice. Oh, you got some hiccups, huh? So those were in the car when I bought the car, believe it or not. So oh. those are Vacaville Police Department issue Unity handcuffs. Okay, and were they right here in the thing? Nope, I put them there. They oh, okay. were in the back seat under the uh, uh. Under. I used to find handcuffs all the freaking time, but now they've been uh, gotten good about freaking taking their handcuffs with them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so looks like a Troy Center console. Is this Troy? No okay. Okay, so this right here is the controller for the. Well, basically, the light bar that's on this car is so old you could run it off of toggle switches. Oh, so okay. I needed a switch box, and that's literally just a switch box. So I just I wired everything from the light bar into the switch box. Okay, we're gonna fully light up this light bar here in just a bit. And uh, this is the arrow stick code three for the traffic advisors. Do they work? Everything works. The only thing I don't have is I don't have a horn with me today, but I still can't really get into my trunk today, so. Scott. Those are wig wags. With the wig wags? Yep. Okay, let me see. Oh, nice, so they, they work. Now, do the hideaways work? No, I don't have a flasher controller. All the wiring is still there. I just, I don't have a controller itself for the flashers. Gotcha. It's still in the tail light housings too. Mm, that's pretty interesting. You have an individual button for the wig wags. What about this red button? That one turns on the subwoofer if you pan right behind you. Subwoofer right there. This for his oregano. Let's uh, go around and take a look on the other side. What do we have in here? Garbage, a bunch of garbage. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I feel it. I don't even want to show you what my car looks like because it's garbage. pretty much the same. We got uh, a radio of some sort, public address. All right, let's see what's in here. Chopsticks. We like sushi. Looks like a fidget toy. We got some medication. Hey, I had to take my gloves off because they were sweating. All right, let's take a look in the back tools here. We can show off. This is what every Crown Victoria owner should have in because at some point or another, you're gonna end up on the side of the road. He's got a timing chain just in case. No, that's a filter. Wrench. <laughs> this is a universal filter wrench. That looks beautiful. pretty cool, actually. And it uh, looks like a biscuit smell proof. That's why you put it in there. Damn right. That is not smell proof. <laughs> this is not. <laughs> what the hell? It's it's kind of honestly for California. But, you know. Yeah, it's strong though. It smells. Let's take a look on the other side. Looks like some type of container. Could be diesel, could be gas, could be water. It's gasoline. gasoline. Yes. And uh, oh, look at this. It's Chase. You take that as a gift. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give it to Chase. I'm going to tell him that uh, you gave it to him. All right, we got a willing mic. We got Sacramento Protective Services. Huh? So it came from one of your cars. Some freaking crazy looking. That is what's known as a torque multiplier. Oh. That wasn't uh, burnt at one point. <laughs> Believe it or not, when I got that, that was nice and flat. Is this from the heat? Yes. Damn. That's just from sitting in my back window. Jeez. All right, so we got a uh, expandable traffic cone. 
Yep. Just wait till y'all folks see the cones that are in the trunk when whenever we get to them. <laughs> Sheriff. Nice. Let's remove the mankini and see what's in the trunk. There we go. Midnight repairs, folks. Midnight repairs. <laughs> okay, so that's a lot of junk in the trunk. Gotta make a living somehow, folks. So this is the compressor for his train horn. I know that you guys remember that thing. We have a old school siren speaker. Damn. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking about making that into the new switch panel for the light bar. Oh, okay. That's the compressor itself, the chrome thing. And this is where the air goes. Yep, that's the air tank. Gotcha. And then my one inch big boy 50 foot hose reel. A lot of airflow. Yeah. Uh, your amplifier? Yep. Still like to play Mexican music? You should know Spanish by now, that Mexican music you listen to. <laughs> poquito Espanol. Poquito? Oh, poquito Espanol. This is my home repair. Murder and fish. Oh, okay. Serial killer kit. Oh. <laughs> The railroad I serial work, killer. I work six days a week, man. Sometimes too busy to, to serial kill. If I'm not working at the auction, I'm usually working at people's houses. Believe it or not, I'm a landscaper. Yeah, I like it. Oh yeah, nice. You can have Look one. at that. Sheriff training. Yeah, dope. I'll put this up on the shelf. There you go. And what's up with all these rocks? I'm a landscaper. I'm in the midst of doing my recovery mission. I my trunk oh meaning like the car recovery yeah car recovery i had to go we oh had, we had to go do a car recovery part of that yeah. is i got frustrated and slammed my trunk and my trunk broke oh wow well no worries you're in the right place because we're gonna replace this oh, yeah. trunk i know you have those here yeah <laughs> yeah classic two feet to eat to eat to eat <laughs> all right so let's start this baby up y'all are in for a treat right now yeah i like to hear that should I close the trunk? Oh, you can't. <laughs> I mean, you can close it, but it's not going to stay closed. Ah, uh, I gotcha. Ooh. Hey, I made a clean spot. <laughs> he did. Custom piping. He swears by it. <laughs> All right, she works. Look at that. I like old school stuff, but this is a little too old school. Yeah, believe it or not, folks, that light bar is so old, the lights rotate off a chain drive. A chain drive? Plastic chain drive, I swear to God. I took it apart. Damn. Now that's old school. 1981, 1982. 82, holy smokes, you weren't even born yet. Nope. <laughs> nope, not even yet. You were probably a plant at that time. Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. Sounds about right. And uh, does the speaker work on this thing? There is no speaker. This is not a speaker? So in the 80s, yes, there was a speaker in there. Uh-huh. So oh, but let's, it's let's not. Say, uh, it's a funny story. So let's say that this was a 1982 light bar, right? Uh-huh. By 1984, all the speakers in the Jetsonics were taken out because cops were literally going deaf. Oh, wow. So keep that in mind, folks. The light bar, or not the light bar, but the siren speakers are so loud that it's literally deafening to the cops. So their answer to that is just to relocate it to the front of the car so it can deafen us. Oh, that's nice cop history to know. I didn't even know that. That's cool. I ain't been stopped yet. <laughs> Bunch. Yeah. Just random tools. Bro. <laughs> what the hell? Is this for reals? Acme? <laughs> what are we in a cartoon? Explain this. Stockton, after 4th of July, doing my normal rounds. Wait, you're still doing uh, railroad patrols? Somebody has to. <laughs> oh, damn. I didn't know you were still doing them. I like to make you think I do. Can we put this thing to the test or what? We got the canine unit, and uh, I got a special guest here. Gee, he loves it. All right, let's go put that thing to the test. We need to go find something to blow up. Okay, guys, so I think we're just gonna blow this thing up. It's a uh, the refrigerator from the last video. You guys missed it. Definitely want to go back and see. We're gonna go ahead and turn it into smithereens. Want to just throw it on your trunk? Yeah, that's what I was trying to see, girls. How you want to load it? <laughs> like, I don't give a damn. It's Oh, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna put the camera away. Who needs a truck when you got a Ford Crown Vic? Hey, where are you going? Oh, fuck. Hey. I was supposed to stop. You were supposed to stop a long time ago. Whoops. 
Oh well. Texting and driving is illegal on public roads, not on private property, by me. Oh yeah, that's true. All right. So how do you want to get this down? Uh, you know what, let's, uh, just, uh, anywhere, really. Whatever works. I think that's a good spot. Yeah, forget pushing it. We moved it over here so it could be a safer spot. He filled it up with some of his stuff in there. <laughs> Putting your skateboard in there. Okay, it's lit. Let's hope it works. To be honest, I don't have much faith in this. Oh, <laughs> What fridge? What fridge? <laughs> what fridge? <laughs> what fridge? Oof. Oh, it smells good though. <laughs> That's acne for you. Yeah, no kidding, right? The man was holding out. He had two of them. What you got going on over here? Smoke show. Smoke show. <laughs> okay, here we go again. Good one, look at this. Holy smokes. <laughs> we should have put it upside down, maybe. No. No? No. Speak from experience. I don't want to run from it, and I don't know where it's at. Uh, thanks for stopping by, man. That was fun. It was fun. We got to blow more stuff up sometimes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Nice shirt. Thank you. My wife got it for me. Oh, nice. That's a uh, Satina. <laughs> Nerd! <laughs> yeah. I want to see this thing take off. Go for it. Go. Even though he's not getting paid by the city, he does all of this voluntarily. Yeah, he literally keeps the railroads safe. How many people would you say you arrested? Probably 12. Okay, so demonstrate to me if there was a criminal committing a crime right there, what would you do? On the ground, freeze, and you on the fucking ground, you piece of ignorant piece of shit! <laughs> Just like that? I mean, it's pretty close. Okay. You gotta use a tough voice. I mean, if I sound like this, they ain't gonna <laughs> listen to me.